Millions and millions of asteroids in all shapes and sizes float through our solar system. It isn't unusual for these heavenly bodies to fall on Earth. In fact, thousands of them zip past Earth every single day. According to NASA, hundreds of space debris and rocks burn in their entry into the planet's atmosphere on a daily basis. Even asteroids the size of cars can strike the Earth at least once a year, creating a small amount of local damage. In 2004, an NEO, or near-Earth object, was discovered. At 40 million pounds and 340 meters across, the asteroid, called Apophis, was identified as one of the most dangerous asteroids that could cause catastrophic damage on Earth. Based on initial scientific computations, there was a 2.7% chance that it would collide with Earth on April 13, 2029. Since its discovery, optical and radar telescopes have been tracking the asteroid as it orbits the Sun. What were to happen if Apophis actually collided with Earth in 2029? What would the impact be like? Is there anything that we can do to stop it? Recent calculations have shown that in 2029, Apophis would be dangerously close at about 20,000 miles away from the Earth's surface. This means that it will cross the path between the Earth and the Moon at about one-tenth of the distance, and it will also be closer to us than some of our orbiting satellites. To say that this is too close for comfort would be an understatement. But what if something affected the path of Apophis as it approaches the Earth? An event like this cannot be ruled out as it is definitely possible. Should this happen, Apophis could very well smash into Earth. We've seen how this has been depicted in several Hollywood movies, and we've also been told by the late world-renowned physicist Stephen Hawking, that an asteroid collision is the biggest threat to all life on the planet and one that could cause global mass extinction. While most space rocks that reach the Earth's atmosphere burn up during entry due to friction, when an asteroid actually strikes the Earth, a variety of factors come into play. Size, mass, angle, and these all determine how much damage they cause. Should an asteroid the size of Apophis actually collide with the Earth, it is said that the kinetic energy would be equivalent to 1200 megatons of TNT. And if that figure is difficult for you to imagine, then let's compare it to the asteroid that created Arizona's meteor crater 50,000 years ago. Scientists estimate that to have been about 46 meters across and weighing several hundred thousand tons. Compared to the Apophis, that was a baby meteorite that impacted the Earth with a force between 3 and 10 megatons of energy, 150 times greater than an atomic bomb. And that created the meteor crater that is 550 feet deep and almost a mile wide. Should Apophis strike, it would likely deliver the equivalent of 880 megatons of energy. Now, what would happen if Apophis were to crash into a populated area? Considering what happened to Hiroshima when a nuclear bomb hit it, 200,000 people were killed and the land was completely wiped out. Now, if Apophis were to hit, there is no doubt that it would flatten tens of thousands of square miles of land and kill millions of people in the process. But because three-fourths of the Earth is covered in water, the chances of Apophis landing in water, specifically the Pacific Ocean, is far greater. And although it won't directly crash into populated areas, this will not make the impact any less catastrophic. In fact, if you'd like to picture what its effect would be like, just close your eyes and imagine colossal 50 feet tsunamis crashing into coastal cities and beyond in multiple continents. Strictly by way of example, American astrophysicist and planetary scientist Neil deGrasse Tyson warned that a tsunami or series of tsunamis sparked by Apophis landing in the Pacific Ocean could wipe out the entire west coast of North America. According to him, so it happens is all the artificial stuff, all the houses, 
factories, they get churned into the ablative force that sandblasts the entire west coast of North America clean. So if Apophis were to wipe out the west coast of North America, it wouldn't be a mass extinction event, at least not immediately. But it would change life as we know it in more ways than one. For example, the force of impact would kick up so much dust and debris into our atmosphere that it would cause climate change. The most famous example of this is the so-called KT asteroid impact, which according to the Planetary Science Institute, caused such drastic climate change that it led to the extinction of most of the dinosaurs some 60 million years ago. And while the Apophis is much smaller in size compared to the KT asteroid, a change in climate, even a temporary one, would not come as a surprise. On other planets in the solar system, two distinct phenomena caused by asteroid impacts are also seen. In Mars, there are two different hemispheres in one planet. And this is said to have been caused by an asteroid hitting the planet almost 4 billion years ago. Uranus and its unusual spin are also attributed to a massive object that's double the size of the Earth colliding into its surface. The reason why Apophis has caused such a stir in the scientific community is because of its size and proximity of its path to Earth. While we've crossed paths with many other NEOs, they've only been around 5 to 10 meters in size. Astronomers around the world are constantly tracking these heavenly bodies. NASA utilizes Sentry, a highly automated collision monitoring system that continually scans the most current asteroid catalog for possibilities of future impact with Earth over the next 100 years. In 1994, comet Shoemaker-Levy 9 slammed into the surface of Jupiter in several big pieces after the single comet was shredded up by gravity. Some fragments were up to half a mile long, and they plunged into the planet's atmosphere in a series of impacts. Thanks to technology and multiple telescopes set up in space stations and satellites, astronomers around the world were able to witness and study the impacts. Also thanks to technology, the Apophis situation that was thought to pose the risk of impacting the Earth has recently been ruled out. Now, the results from a new radar observation campaign combined with precise orbit analysis have helped astronomers conclude that there is no risk of Apophis impacting our planet for at least a century, which they announced on March 26, 2021. Space, however, by its very nature, is completely unpredictable, and despite our best efforts as well as our current technology and resources, we would only be able to do so much to protect the Earth should a collision course be determined. The only thing we have on our side is time. The earlier we spot these asteroids and meteorites, the higher our chances of avoiding it and surviving. It's been determined that we would need over 10 years of planning to significantly change the course of any impending collision, which is why space agencies around the world consider it their life's mission to continue tracking any of these potential threats. In recent years, many agencies have started funneling resources and funds to missions that change an asteroid's trajectory. A new field of study called Asteroid Impact Avoidance comprises the methods by which near-Earth objects on a potential collision course with Earth could be diverted away has also been developed. Both these efforts have given birth to ideas to potentially interfere with an asteroid's path toward Earth. One involves putting up a barrier between the rock and the planet with the hope of slowing the invader down just enough that the planet escapes danger. Another suggests the use of nuclear weapons to kick an asteroid from its orbit or shatter it into smaller bits. However, doing so would require multiple precise space missions in the span of just a few months. All of the data gathered, as well as the collaboration between space agencies around the world, will help us develop impact avoidance technology. 
For now, you can rest assured knowing that despite Apophis's close approach to Earth, it is highly improbable that the asteroid will hit Earth in your lifetime. If you enjoyed today's video, then make sure that you like and share it. Also subscribe to the channel. We have more of these videos coming your way, so stay tuned and see you back here next time.